Uh, pretty excited about getting started with, uh, you know, what'll be a pretty experienced team, especially considering all the youth that played last season for you, right? Yeah, I think having a bunch of, at least my sophomore class, and we got a lot of experience last year, so I think that'll help us a lot. Everyone's pretty excited to get out of the indoors. Yeah. Get to, get to play some real baseball outside in Florida, so. Yeah, somewhere where it's a little warmer than yeah. the snow-covered ground. Yeah. Here. Just uh, did last year help you guys? I mean, I don't know how many freshmen played, five or six or however many it was, yeah. but did that really, uh, you know, you guys not only played, but played well? I think it does because, I mean, I know, like, going into the season last year, I was pretty pretty nervous getting my first start. or And to have especially, like, Kevin and Brad, you know, mm -hmm. uh, really stepped up and played well, made the freshman Big Ten team. So I think I think getting to play last year really helped a lot. Um, just gives you some more experience. You know, you get that extra year, extra couple games. So going into, like, this season, you know what to expect. So it's not so much of a surprise. You're not as nervous, so kind of. Else. You guys think you can have a pretty potent offense? I mean, a lot of a lot of the uh, the big hitters in your lineup were freshmen last yeah. season, and it would stand to reason you guys could come mm -hmm. back and, and do it again, if not better. Yeah, I think that we showed, uh, you know, that we can play and we can hit. We had some power in, in our class, especially, and uh, yeah, I think I think that we have a solid lineup this year. I mean, I think our our three through five hitters or six even can you know put the ball. Put the ball in play, put it out of the ballpark, or you know, get some extra base hits. So I think it'll help. Does it have some versatility too? That was one of your strengths. It seemed like last year, just versatility in the lineup a little bit. You know, it could go righty, lefty throughout almost. Yeah, I think that helps. I mean, we have a bunch of guys that can really uh, step up. I mean, different like Barrett Serrato. I mean, uh, he's a good left-handed bat to have come off the yeah. bench. And uh, you know, Shri Brad Schreiber can pitch. And he also hits pretty well at uh, DH, and he can put the ball out of, uh, out of the ballpark or, you know, in the gaps. He's got a lot of power, so I think that we have a, a ton of versatility when it comes to different sides of the plate. I mean, when you can put uh, Pilecki and Perk in the middle of the lineup, that's a pretty good, uh, it's pretty good, pretty good middle, right? Yeah, three, four is pretty good. Yeah. And either way, you know, either way you put them, you know, you have one of them protecting the other one, so you know they don't really have a choice like to pitch to someone. Yeah. So I think it helps. How, how beneficial do you think that will be to you, uh, to you guys this year? Uh, well, it's good knowing that we got a lot of our offense back. Um, you know, we lost a lot of pitching and stuff. And, um, you know, the, uh, the young lineup, you know, is always good in all, whatever team you're going to be on. Um, you know, last year a lot of freshmen got our feet wet, um, a lot of ABs and stuff with uh, Shriver, Angie, Perkins. I mean, we got a lot of us that got a lot of ABs and stuff. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully we can get the ball rolling here in a couple weeks. Just what do you think the strength of the team will be? Uh, I mean, I I feel that we're going to be very strong. I think we're going to come out and uh, play good baseball from the get-go. Um, I know we're all excited. You know, it's a long wait, um, waiting through the winter winter months and things like that. It's a long uh, long road leading up to this point, and I know we're two weeks uh, away from right as of right now. So we're all excited, and uh, I think we're going to be very strong. We're going to come out playing our uh, our best baseball. So. You think it's a pretty good lineup? From I mean, you have some gaps to fill. Obviously, you had a huge senior class last year, mm -hmm. but. Uh, you know, you had relatively, you know, some young guys in there, but you feel like you're pretty strong one through one through nine in the lineup. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, guys like Media, we're gonna miss, and obviously in the top uh, four in the lineup, and, and uh, guys like John Moore, Lily, and, and Arthur, things, people like that that we lost. Um, but you know, we obviously didn't we didn't have them every game last year. Mm -hmm. Just just how it goes, and um, you know, I think some other guys stepped up, and yeah, we're definitely gonna miss them. But uh, you know, it's, they're gone. And, can't worry about that. We did lose some pitching. Um, from that standpoint, we got some new junior college guys that came in. Um, so, I mean, hopefully Brad can step up this year a little bit more than he did last year. Um, maybe from a starter's perspective. Um, I don't know. We'll, get, we'll, we'll see what, what, what happens on the mound. Um, I know I'm excited about it. I've worked with a lot of pitchers, and, and I've seen a lot of good things, and I'm excited to um, continue working with them throughout the season. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have a, new, a lot of new faces. You know, aside from maybe Morgan, a lot of a lot of new guys out there filling some big roles. Just have there been some guys who you feel like have stepped up into you know potential weekend starter type roles? Yeah, uh, you know Brad Schreiber last year um, was kind of limited just a little bit just because of the depth we had at pitching. Right. Um, but you know this year obviously he's got you know almost like a clean slate, and uh, I know he's looking forward to it. Talking to him, and um, we got guys like Lance Breedlove, is a uh, junior college transfer from California. Uh, he looks great. Well, I'm excited. I've enjoyed catching him. 
Um, guys like Wickren, we got guys coming back um, mm -hmm. from last year, Sean Collins, Blake Mascarello, Joe Hayes. I mean, we got guys that have been there before and have, have been on the mound quite a bit. So, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and I know everyone else is too, and I know that we have confidence in them. And, uh, you know, I'm, they got confidence in themselves too, so um, they look, we're looking forward to it. And it sounds like from that's probably the number one question about this team, just as pitching and pitching depth. But it sounds like from talking to you that you feel like there's, you know, plenty of arms there to, to be able to fill some gaps. Yeah, um, and that's what people are going to say is pitching because uh, everyone obviously knows that we lost quite a bit of arms last year. Um, but you know, like I said, you can't change. Those guys are gone. Uh, you got to work with what we got, and I know that we're all confident in what we have, and and. Uh, we got all the utmost faith in everyone mm -hmm. to go out there and just do the best they can. And that's all you can really ask for, um, especially in Big Ten. I mean, any, any pitcher can go out and have a day. But, uh, you know, it's just who's going to be on that day. And that's just how this conference works, and that's what's exciting about it.